Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Kaiju number 8, chapter 94. Alright, so Hoshina finally hit the core of the doppelganger esque perfected number 10. So, yeah. It's sacrifice of the tail of number 10, but hey, if it works, it works. I'm sure it'll probably get repaired, maybe not to the full extent, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe it'll get like a special sword or something to replace it, but let's see. It goes down. <coughs> Wait, it's still able to regenerate? It still has fight left in it after getting its core pierced. You really are one tough son of a gun. The core is like literally cracking. How has this thing got anything left in the tank? <coughs> oh, and it just falls forward. Kaiju number 12. You may have been my enemy, but bravo. Dang. Walks away like a badass. <coughs> the target's vitals. They're gone. Vice Captain Hoshina. And he's about to, yeah... It hitting 100% and everything really just did him in. His, his neutralized number 12. All right, now that we've done, we're done with the the kaiju. Let's fight the off or fight the officers. <laughs> what? Uh, give me a break. Dope. Dope. I can't even move my body. <clears throat> oh, that was number 10. That's okay. Oh. Interesting. Captain. Hyojo Prefecture. Himeji City. We're we're getting word that Shoshiro won. I can hardly believe he was able to solo an identified kaiju. Of course he was. So your his brother's actually still alive? <coughs> and he's a captain of which division? They say the kaiju challenged Shoshiro to close quarters combat, didn't they? That sure as hell wasn't a good idea. Aw, you're actually proud of your brother. I like that. You weren't, you were just giving him a rival. <laughs> a rival and motivation, even though it might have been in the worst way, but I think he's like the only supporter in the whole damn family. He may be no good with guns, but when it comes to the blade, he's a prodigy. He stands above everyone in the Hoshino family past or present. Care to give him a few congratulatory words over the radio then? Hmm. Nah, I think not. But why? Because he hates my freaking guts, for real. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he cut ties with me for always taunting him about being a wimp back when we were kids. Then you're reaping what you sowed, sir. <laughs> uh, just picture it. Your little brother, five years your junior, rapidly closing the gap between the two of you the more we spar with him. It was terrifying. I taunted to demotivate, or demotiv ugh, <coughs> demotivate him, but it had the opposite effect. You're quite the terrible brother, sir. <laughs> the suspected Hanju has emerged in, oh my god, this name, Nisha... Ya Shirocho. Class. Oh my god, it's the biggest. <clears throat> Class. Dai Kaiju. Roger. Uh, well, the big wigs reared its ugly head. Guess I ought to get out there and show some dignity like a big brother should. Report. Vice Captain Hoshina has defeated Kaiju number 12. So everyone else is getting it at the same time, really, but. The area around uh, Chofu Airport has been brought under control. That's Vice Captain uh, Hoshina for you. Aww. That leaves one identified kaiju threat. Wait, it does? I'm trying to. There was like five of them, wasn't there? Well, I mean, let's see. She took out one, he took out one. So that was three. Hmm. Who took out like the other one or two? <coughs> Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Tachikawa. Oh, God, I can't pronounce his name. 
it's in your hands. What? Tuchikwa Kawa City, Tokyo. <coughs> Captain Ashihiro. Uh oh. So she. Oh, she's gonna shoot this motherfucker out of the sky. Kaiju number 14 is still invading. Wait. Oh, wait, it was 12. Never mind. <coughs> I was like, why are they talking? What? This is like the most interesting one out of all of them because it's like so abstract in its design. I love it. <coughs> it's still invading and destroying uh, Tachikawa City streets. It's been teleporting erratically, making it impossible for Captain Hoshiro to, Hoshiro to intercept it with... Uh, Kura Unos. Oh god, here comes the... Oh, it shoots from all of its mouths. Okay. Ooh, good lord. How's there a city left? <laughs> ah! So back in the shelter, we got people... Mommy, don't worry. It'll be fine. I'm absolutely certain she'll take care of it. So they are well briefed and work, you know, thinking she's going to save them. Sorry, my dad is all full of crap. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Anyway, fire! Launch! <coughs> okay, so they've got a helicopter as well. Oh my god, it's got a barrier. Target is unscathed. Its shield is too strong after all. Yeah, we don't have the means to take down an identified... Ugh, excuse me. Class Kaiju, then consider them warning shots. But don't stop shooting. Ah, so she's like warning shots, but don't stop shooting. Probably because she thinks there might be a threshold to how much it can use its shield. Either be it just stress from having to use it constantly, or that it has a limit of how well the shield will affect, and then she'll get that kill shot. Sniper unit, wrangle target to point F. Ground unit, provide backup while disposing of Yoju. Roger. Operators and science team, analyze the calcula analyze and calculate the uh, target's teleportation pattern. Roger. <coughs> don't worry, Tokyo. Or Tokyo? I don't know. Uh, we have a way. I'm going to shoot right through it. And she's on a target, and she's doing the Akira fucking bike slide. <laughs> Where did the fucking tiger come from? I feel like it's been seen before, but I don't get it. But I love it. <laughs> it's literally the same shit. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's probably going to be the thumbnail. Ah, uh, Lord. Anyway, so, yeah, okay, we're down to one kaiju left. Kaiju number 14, the weirdest one of them all. You know, it's got, like, this monolith-looking body from 2001. Then you've got these four heads that can shoot lasers from their mouths. Now, that's, I think this is the first time we've really seen them do that, and it can teleport, which I don't recall that either. <coughs> I mean, it wasn't a major focus up until now. We only saw it like the one time that I recall when they were all coming out and attacking various places, which then stretched the defense force thin a little bit. <coughs> so it's basically captains and vice captains having to take out them, you know, the best they could. No joint collaborations. Um, but yeah. Uh, I do like what she's probably planning is penetrating the shield after it's been exhausted or making it where it wears it down. I think those are her plans. And then she'll do the kill shot from her tiger friend. Um, so the only reason that she has a trained tiger is because of the fact that the gun looks way too fucking heavy to, for any person to logically carry. 
I think that might be the case, but eh, we've seen her wield what looks like unwieldy guns before, so we'll see. But anyway, um, yeah. I, I love the development of uh, Hoshina's like brother. Like It's revealed he's alive, and he's also a captain of another division. At the same time, he's revealing, you know, why he was motivating his brother. Well, it was motivation. It was demotivation is what he was trying to do. But I, I do like that. But And then Hoshina just kind of like, no, screw you. I'm not talking to you anymore. <clears throat> but yeah, five-year time gap between them. So yeah, that would have been enough to really probably scare someone. It's like, my God, he's progressing at such a rate. It's like he's doing better than I was at that age. This is bullshit. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, look at you, little Sheena. Uh, so yeah, I, I just don't, you know, I've never had a sibling, so I, I don't know how I would act, but yeah. But anyway, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content. I stream on YouTube where I'll do, like, long-form reactions and gameplay. Uh, I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. Until next time, Keeshlings. <sighs> my hero awaits.